Welcome back to the game everyone. We're beginning turn number four. Jason the Berserker Dwarf is up first. As usual I've had our players post their actions on Facebook and Jason begins again with a great post. Wiping the sweat away from his brow. Grisbin drinks deeply from the dwarven ale in his barrel as he surveys his handiwork with the Etten. If you remember, he dropped an Etten last turn. Grisbin, hearing a cry from one of his companions, turns to see the Etten Mauler towering over the broken body of Averick. A dwarf's work is never done, says Grisbin as he checks the grip of his great axe and turns to charge Mauler. Well, Jason's character is here, and another great thing about his post is it's very clear, uh, actually counting spaces for me, how far he wants to move and exactly what he wants to do. said he wants to move three spaces north. One, two, three. And he wants to spend his second action making an attack on Mahler using his Rage ability. Using Rage will have uh, Grisbin suffer a point of fatigue there, but he's going to do plus one damage on his attack roll. So we take the attack die and the red power die. The Etten Mahler has two gray dice for his defense. I'm going to zoom back a little more and let you see the roll. By the way, this is uh, our healer here. Uh, my son came into the room and saw the healer here and became very upset. <laughs> so Seth, he really wants you back in the game. He says it's not right that you're not on the board. All right, here we go. We have two defense rolled and two damage rolled. That would cancel each other out, but rage is plus one damage and a surge. A surge we can also use to activate plus one damage. So that's going to do two damage to Mauler. So that's two damage now to Mauler. Since there's only one Etten left, I'll put those tokens right there on the card. That would normally end uh, Jason's turn. However, he wants to use his heroic feat. You can see it right there. It is. Uh, you can use your heroic feat to make one additional attack. Making this additional attack, I wonder if Grisbin can use his Rage ability a second time. This card doesn't appear to become exhausted, so I guess I want to make a judgment call here for Jason. Um, I think it's all right for you to use Rage a second time for your second attack. It's just going to get you one more point of fatigue. I just double checked. I think it's a legal move. Um, Jason, let's give it a shot. I'm going to let you use Rage here again. And uh, if, that, if you strongly object to that and you need to let me know later, then we can adjust things accordingly. But... Let's let you attack again with your uh, Rage. That's going to give you a second point of fatigue, but once again, like before, give you plus one damage. Okay. We've got only one shield for defense. And how much damage did we get this time? One, two, three, four... Activate a Surge here, 5. Another 5 points of damage on Mauler. Well, that's a great shot. That's uh, 7 points of damage on Mauler. Remember, he doesn't have 8. He actually has 16 health. So, uh, Grisbin is doing very well on making some progress there on taking Mauler down. You can see the 2 points of uh, fatigue suffered there. Since the heroic feat is used, we turn the card around. And to indicate to me that Grisbin's turn is over, I'm going to turn his cards around. And that's it. We're going to go to Robert next.
Robert's also given me a, a very clear post here. Um, he said he knows everything he needs to know right now. He's going to move three spaces northeast, stand directly behind the fallen hero, and for his first action, uh, he will help him get back on his feet. Oh, I'm sorry, his move will be his first action, and helping the, uh, the healer will be his second action. And he said, I will not use my magic item unless I am hit strong enough to be KO'd. So Tomble here, Robert said he wanted him to move up by the healer. That could be one, two, three spaces. Tomble has a speed of four, but let's let him try to revive our healer. Well, Tomble is attempting to revive Seth's character. We're supposed to roll two red dice here. Let's see how this works. That's going to heal the cleric five health and uh, allow him to gain back one point of stamina or remove one point of fatigue. So here's our healer's stash of tokens. Five that is going to be healed and one fatigue. That's going to leave the healer with a total of five, six, seven damage which is just over half and three fatigue. So he's better off than he was and he's back in the game. My son will be happy. So having revived the healer we put his figure back on the board and we can take his hero token off. Okay, Tumble has revived the healer, Seth's character. And unlike some other dungeon crawlers where you make your move action and then you're done, and then you make another action of a different type, you can actually bank your speed and use any points left over if you have them. And that's something that I don't think that as as a group and of course myself and helping you play this game we've done much of. So Tomble actually has one movement point left. Tomble if you want to stay there you can. There are certain advantages to being there. Let's see one, two, three. You're within three spaces of, of searching this uh, search token with your greedy ability if you wanted to do that later. Um, but if you want to spend that last movement point to go somewhere else one step, let me know and I will adjust it uh, according to your wishes. All right, well, that's going to finish things now for our uh, thief and our warrior. We will pick it up next again with uh, the healer and the mage. One final look. Once again, guys, if you would consider uh, letting me know in just a little more detail exactly where you want to move. If you'll just give me the direction and how many spaces you want to go, that would be very helpful. And remember, you can interrupt your movement. So you can move a couple of spaces, make an attack, and then you can finish moving. So... I'll catch you guys over on Facebook. Thanks for watching, and we'll continue with uh, turn number four very soon.